Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for Sagittarius for the month of J July 2024. If this resonates, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. Let's see. The Sagittarius Spirit and Guide. Look at the recent past. What happened in the recent past in love for Sagittarius? What happened with Sagittarius in the recent past in love? That's too many. We have the devil. What happened in the recent past? We have the tower in reverse. Okay, these all came up. The nine of cups, the nine of swords, and the five of pentacles. So, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Scorpio. I have strong, I have air, I have earth, I have water. In the recent past, I feel like you guys were dealing with a very unhealthy, toxic commitment relationship. Um, this is someone who really only thought about their own happiness. Um, they put themselves before you. I feel like you had to really bite your tongue a lot. This is someone you were walking on eggshells with where you couldn't really, you couldn't speak what you wanted to say. You couldn't do what you wanted to do. You were constantly walking on eggshells with this person. You had to really remind yourself of certain things that you couldn't say to this person. It was a very un unhealthy um a relationship that you had with this person um you've had many sleepless nights you know you've had a lot of anxiety this person caused you a lot of mental breakdowns um and in the end i feel like you know this person abandoned you or maybe you abandoned them but i feel like there was you know maybe this person gave you this sort of abandonment issue they they made you feel like you know you just weren't good enough that's what I'm getting in the recent past here, um, Sagittarius. So I want to see what I want to clarify. Let's clarify the, the devil. Okay, so we have the higher font. So some of you could have been married to this person, doesn't have to be. Um, others of you, um, if you weren't married to this person, you were in a long-term relationship with this person, but this is someone where... You know, there could have been cultural differences. Doesn't have to be. Um, it's like the both of you share different belief systems as well. Even just the way you, you would think about things. The way you, your trait of thought. It's like the way this person was possibly brought up. There were there was two different things here. And that's what made it toxic. Because... The both of you weren't on like the same sort of page or the same sort of frequency. You were brought up very differently is what I'm getting. And it's like, you know, you were brought up in a way where you're kind of just kind of trying to be quiet and, and, and not speak your truth. And you're like, you know, really going against your, your will here, which was driving you crazy. Um, tell me about the five of pentacles, spirit. Okay, this card came out. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse came out here. So yeah, so I feel like it became a missed opportunity here. It didn't really progress into more than what it did. So, you know, if you were buried, I feel like you possibly, you're possibly getting a divorce at this time. Um, I don't feel like you're with this person anymore. And if you didn't get married, if it was just like, you know, a relationship again, I feel like somebody pulled back and, and, and ghosted the other person. Maybe this person just ghosted you, whatever the case may be, it's over. Now, what's currently going on in Sagittarius's love life at this time? So we have the hangman, Pisces energy. We have um, the wheel of fortune in reverse. And we have the Empress, Taurus, and um, Libra energy. So right now, Sagittarius, I feel like your life is kind of at a standstill. 
you're kind of waiting for something to change here. You're waiting for something to change, but the same things keep reoccurring, if that makes any sort of sense. And I feel like you are taking much better care of yourself at this time. You're kind of very focused on yourself. Um, you know, if you have children, you're focused on your children as well. Uh, you're focused very much on better things at this time, whether it's yourself, whether it's, you know, putting work into your family or into your kids. Um, or just, again, like, you know, uh, maintaining a healthier lifestyle, changing, you know, your eating habits. Maybe you're doing some sort of plastic surgery. Maybe you've, you know, you've done some sort of thing with your appearance. Maybe you're dressing differently. Maybe you're exercising. You know, it could be a whole ton of stuff. Maybe you're taking, you know, some sort of different lessons now. So let's clarify. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius at this time. Eight of Wands, things, you know, things are progressing. You don't see it, but things are going to move forward very quickly when they do. Right now, they might feel like they're going very slow. But in, in a snap of a finger, things are just going to move very quickly for you. And that's when, that's only when you realize that the same things keep reoccurring and why the same things keep reoccurring with that wheel of fortune in reverse. It's like the divine is trying to send you a message somehow. However, they're trying to send you a message uh, um, and, and they're trying to show you like why the same things keep happening. And I feel like you're going to finally realize that with that because you have that empress here. You're finally realizing like, oh yeah, I... You know, I almost forgot. I got to put myself first. I got to think of myself. I got to think of my kids. I got to think of, you know, that sort of thing. Let's clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. The Nine of Wands. You're, you're, you're going to be standing very strong. As hesitant or as hesitant as you may be, you're going to be standing very strong because you know all, everything that you've been through and you know what you can accomplish you know the growth that you have um come up you, you have obtained over all these all this time years whatever it may be what's going to be the predictive outcome for Sagittarius's love life for July 2024 spirit give me three cards what's going to be the predictive outcome for Sagittarius's love life for this month of Jan uh, July 2024 we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. And we have the High Priestess in reverse. So you're finally going to snap out of it uh, this month. You're finally moving forward with that Six. That Six of Swords is a good card. You're finally realizing with that Eight of, Wands, eight of Swords in reverse that you're, you're like, you're having um, a wake-up call. You're finally realizing that you need to move forward. You got to keep going. You're sailing along. You can't stay still, you know, like you might come, you might come across a hurdle where you're kind of thinking like, like, can I really do this? Do, should I really, really move to the next cycle, to the next page, to the next chapter in my life? And yeah, you should. With that high priestess in reverse, I feel like there's something that you're going to find out that's going to cause you to have no other choice but to go. So I want to clarify the high priestess. Or let's clarify the six of swords in our, the six of swords first. Clarify the six of swords, please, for Sagittarius spirit. Okay, we got um, the uh, emperor in reverse. You might feel like, you know, that you're not worth, you're not worthy of moving forward. You're not worthy of your happiness. You're not worthy to be happy, but you are, you are. That's why it's like, you're kind of not going a hundred percent yet, but you will be, uh, clarify the high priestess in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're going to finally realize that something is going to be 
known to you or shown to you this month, um, Sagittarius, that you're going to realize that you have to really conquer something. There's something that you're going to have to put all of your effort into in order to, I'm trying to think of the word, it's, it's something to do with like working on something like mastering something there's something that you're gonna re you're gonna find out that you have mastered you have some sort of master skill within yourself that you're gonna realize this month is what i want to say and it was all in your hands and you have been doing that even if you haven't realized it just yet you have been mastering some sort of skill and it's going to pay off for you in the end of this month that's what I have, Sagittarius. Hope it resonates, and I'll see you guys again.